What's going on everybody? It's Trey Neal here and today, not a good day for the algorithm. Uh, a really, really bad day. Just, I mean, not necessarily didn't take bad trades, still taking positive EV trades, right? But those positive EV trades definitely still lost money today. So with that being said, as you guys may know, if you've been following along, the trades that lose with this system tend to take longer, right? So the trades, the, at least the first two trades that are live recorded in this video are pretty long. Now I do talk about some interesting things about the algorithm, about expected value, about mechanical edges in the market during the trades. So if you have time, I would recommend watching the whole video, but I understand that not everybody does. So if you hover over the progress bar, they will be chaptered. If you just want to see the beginning and the end of the trades, feel free to skip through them. But once again, if you have time looking to learn about mechanical edges, I would suggest watching the whole thing. I do think there is useful info throughout the trades either way. So hopefully you're excited for it. Hopefully you enjoy the transparency. Once again, at the end, we will show you the trade review stats, show you trades that I took off camera, I did take a lot of trades off camera as well. So who knows, maybe I pull it back. Uh, but go ahead, hit the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and let's get into the live recorded trades. All right, here we go. I'm long here, that's not a good fill. Spy started ripping as I bought. That's an unfortunate fill. Uh, yeah, we got about a $5 worse fill than the algorithm, but it is what it is. Spy likes to do that a lot, it feels like, like that, that either pump or dip, like right into the next bar. It's interesting. Anyway, we are long 75 shares here at 445.93, currently looking up towards highs to sell. Let's see what happens with this one. Once again, Spy went for that, went for that run out of open. Stayed patient, la di da 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 finally got the pullback that met the strat. Now we are taking first trade of the day. Chopping around so far. This bar can't quite make up its mind. Might break down here. It's trying to break lows here. Here we go. Breaking down on us. There it is. Little break down here. DIDI is still pushing. Anybody trading this this morning? Are all are all Chinese stocks pushing like that? Whoa, Baba's down 3%. Not really. Intraday looks okay. Oh my. <laughs> NIO is not pushing. NIO is rolling over. Huh. Just DIDI? What about JD? No, J JD's down 4%. Does DIDI have news or something? Chat, anybody? DIDI is is ripping like without the other Chinese stocks. It's interesting. You normally see like I feel like you normally see China tech move very much together. It's the most beat down. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Yeah, DIDI is very beat down, but it's, it's feel like it's surprising to see it move separate with, with from the other China tech. I think it's a short squeeze because of all the down pressure. It could be. It could be. I mean, it could be a thousand different things, right? Okay, little green try to push back up in our spy trade here. Obviously, we're not selling the lows. What what did I say as I was entering this trade? It keeps you patient and it keeps you from panic selling lows. Not looking to sell down here. Not looking to sell down here. It keeps getting dumped into, it keeps getting dumped into, but you gotta stick to the strategy, right? It's all you can do. That's the fun part. I think that's the fun part about trading is that once you figure out this like mechanical edge thing, all the work is done after market closed, right? You, you do your optimization, you do your coding, you do your strategy development when the markets are closed over the weekend, whatever. And then during the market day, all I have to do is trade the strategy, right? That That's all I have to do now is, is trade the strategy like I'm supposed to. If it starts to not work, like for an elongated period of time, then maybe we need to change the strategy, come up with new strategies. But you don't want to, you don't, you don't want to be doing that intraday. You don't want to be, especially intra trade. That's when people get themselves in a lot of trouble. They'll have the strategy, and then in the middle of their trade, they'll they'll change it because they don't like how the trade's going. They'll, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, panic, sell, 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 and then of course 
most of the time that happens to be right before the stock rips back up actually meets their strategy and then they're all pissed off right during you know, during during market open it, this is the easy part this is like when i get to relax and chill when the market closes that's when i got to go to work on optimization and coding and, and making strategies but we are getting dumped we're down 45 dollars in this trade can you guys hear that helicopter I feel like it's flying like right beside my house. It's loud. There's a little helicopter. There is a little uh, airport right up the road from where I live. I don't know if I've ever heard a helicopter coming out of it though. Maybe I have. Maybe I have. Are you on the run? Yeah, they're after me, bro. <laughs> they're after me, bro. I'm in a bad trade. They're coming to get me. You're red. Oh my gosh. Window shatters. <laughs> come on spy dump into me baby let's lose let's lose triple digits in this trade shall we do your thing man do your thing <laughs> what's pal talking about in a few hours i don't know i don't know the other uh fed guy talked this morning what's his name i can't remember his name but another another fed another fed guy talked this morning and then pal talks here in two hours and ten minutes they're always like talking though. I mean, they they like talk. That's the dumb thing to say. But like, there's like Fed talks all the time. The FOMC like meetings and like the meeting notes and the decisions are like the important talks, right? Not that they can't move stocks with these just daily talks, but not as much as like the FOMC or, or interest rate decisions. Those are like the big ones. Bostich, that's his name. That's his name. Yeah. Jacob gonna be on Kramer. <laughs> Hit me up, Jim Kramer. Let's fuck. Let's talk, bro. There's a little reprieve. There's a little reprieve. Funnily enough, we're still not looking. <laughs> we're still looking to sell all the way up here. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars back. Is that what we're looking at? I can't remember. I think it might be six bars back actually for profit. Isn't sell six bars back? No, sell is eight bars back. I forgot the long. The long is uh, buy the low of eight bars and sell the high of eight bars. So we are looking eight bars back, which is still up here. Still got a ways to go. Do you still take swing trades if you're alert trigger? I haven't taken a swing trade um, in a couple of weeks because spy is ridiculous. <laughs> the way spy is moving is crazy. I mean, VIX. This is your volatility index. When this is higher, when this is high, swing trading is much harder. It just is because volatility is crazier. You can get stopped out much easier, right? Um, I would rather wait until the markets get easy to trade again before I start taking swings. It'll happen. VIX will come down. SPY will just start trending again. Um, and swing trades, swing trading will become easier. I don't see a whole lot of point in trying to trade when it's difficult to trade. That makes sense? So I haven't, I haven't taken a swing trade in a couple weeks. It'll happen though. Vix, Vix will calm down. Spy will start getting a normal trend again, and I'll start taking swing trades again. Hey, re-roll back over. Here we go. Here we go, chat. How much money are we losing on this one? How much are we losing on this one, chat? Fun. Fun. Straight run up. Straight run down. This is where the algo does not does not like. Algorithm strategy does not like straight up, straight down moves like this. Obviously. But this is where I lose the most money. <laughs> I wonder if there's some way to... I don't know. I do wonder if there's some way to quantify that. Like, I guess you could look at, like, X percent of change over time. And then don't buy that dip. If it does too much, too large of a change over the last 10 minutes, don't buy the dip. There's, there's, there's probably things to look at there. There's probably things to look at there with the strategy. <clears throat> if you have a low amount of money to trade do you recommend i do day trading a long term long term i think long term is easier to grow especially especially small you don't have to worry about running out of buying power uh when you run out of buying power obviously you can't take any more trades you can't capitalize on your strategy anymore swing trading if you come up come up with Come up with a swing trading strategy 
and then maximize that would be the easier way to trade under 25k there's other ways you i mean you can day trade under 25k you can i made a video about it the other day you can cash account is a big one go offshore uh I remember the other ones but there's ways you can do it but i would say if you're under 25k the easiest way to go about it is to is to come up with a profitable swing trade strategy trade that Still getting dumped into in this trade, but we don't panic sell lows. We don't. It's not what the strategy does. It means we get caught in longer dump downs like this, but I'm going to get asked the question. I know I am because I do, because I, because I, I know how it looks, right? I know how this trade, little trade, you could have stopped out. I understand that, but it's not about trade by trade, right? It's about 12 month back test. Every time I've tried to add a stop loss to this, like, oh, if it breaks down here, sell, it makes the strategy way worse. Because so many times, what does SPY do? Break down a little bit, ramp back up. Chop, chop, chop. This is just not one of those chops. This is straight up, straight down. It's unfortunate. But SPY does this. SPY does this way less often than it does... That's a five-minute chart. But way less often than it does this, right? Like these, like, chop. Like, chop down long, chop down long, chop down long. That's where the strategy thrives. This, this is Friday's trades. This is a wild move, and we're getting dumped into, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I'm in the same position as you, down 150. Yeah, it is what it is. Once again, when the markets are open, this is the least stressful time when the markets are open. <laughs> After markets close, and I look back at this trade and see if I can like put in the work in the strategy to make it better to not trick trades like this, that's when I have to actually work, right? I don't have to do anything right now. Just sell, sell when I'm supposed to sell. I'm not supposed to sell right now. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be happy that I'm down 150. I'm not like stoked about it, but <laughs> I'm also not stressing, right? Like, it's fine. People, <laughs> I've had people ask me that on my YouTube, like, Trey, stop trying to pretend that you're happy. I I'm not happy, but I'm not like, I'm not like, yes, I'm down 150. Let's fucking go. Like, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just not stressing, right? I mean, it's nothing to stress about. When you have a proven strategy, it's nothing to stress over. <laughs> I love losing money. <laughs> Gonna test a sell if the price breaks below the SMA. I tried that. Stopping out if it breaks below this. I tried that. It didn't work. For me. I mean, there's probably different variables you can code into that to make it work. The code at this current stage is very simple. I promise you it can be made better. I know it can be made better. I hope you guys do make it better. I really hope you do. That's why I gave it out for you guys for free, right? We kind of open sourced the project. I mean, look at look at the Discord. Look at this uh, look at this Discord. And this was over the weekend. Look at everybody in this Discord working on the code, maximizing the code, making the code better, and posting it here for everyone to see in the Discord. We've like, we've like open sourced the code, right? So now everybody can like, everybody in the community can work on making it better. It's cool. <laughs> Unfor maybe unfortunately, we're still not looking until all the way up here for cells. We're still looking all the way up here for cells. This bounce isn't close yet. Once again, it's once again why these why these straight downs why these straight downs uh, get crushed in this strategy. You should attempt to trade without the algo. Why would I do that? If you have a strategy that you've proven profitable, why would you ever need to trade without it? Why would you ever go away from it? I guess. That's the last. That's actually the exact opposite of what you should be doing. <laughs> if you have a proven strategy, you should. Be trading and you should only be trading proven strategies if you're not trading proven strategies you're gambling if you're not trading a strategy that you can prove profitability on it over at least the last 30 days you're gambling you're buying and hoping right? 
and I don't care what it is. People get people got mad at me because I made the the joke that oh this is what technical traders are doing. They're drawing a line and then they're gonna buy this. I'm not I'm not saying that doesn't work. That's not what I said. All I said is make sure whatever you're doing is proven profitable, right? If drawing that line and break buying the breakout of it is what you have, make sure you back test it. Back test it. Can you prove its profitability? If you can, great, trade the hell out of it. If you can't, if you don't do that, you're gambling. I hate to tell you, if you're doing anything, I don't care what it is, technical analysis, price action, vo pure volume. If you're taking, if you're ever buying a stock without back testing, you're gambling. <laughs> People got so mad at me in my YouTube. There was like 50, what well, 50? There was like seven like triggered comments. Dude, all I said, dude, just, it's not, it's not a hard concept to grasp. I don't think that you need to be trading statistical proven edges. <laughs> However that is for you, good. Still getting rolled back over into. Yeah, this uh, this could get ugly because, and I don't care. I'm still not selling until I'm supposed to, but uh, this could get ugly because of how far back it's looking. If we keep getting these like bear flag rip, bear flag bounce. We'll see though, we'll see. Oops, sorry, I don't have my, I don't have my, for you guys on Twitch here, I don't have my uh, high day scanner up and on. Yep, here we go, new lows. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how, we'll see how ugly this is going to get. See how ugly this is going to get. I mean, this is a pretty simple, right, bear flag breakdown. But, maybe it fakes out. Squirrels gambling nuts would be a funny rustic painting. <laughs> like the uh, like the dog poker table one, but make it squirrels. I'd be here for it. I would buy that. If somebody made that, I'd buy it. You guys have seen that, right? Or was it just my grandparents that had that in their house? Dogs gambling poker picture. Surely it's, surely everybody knows what I'm talking. Yeah, this one. This one right here. <laughs> yeah why why is dogs playing poker such a classic art <laughs> everybody knows what that is for some reason why why where did we come to as a human race for that to be the classic art that we all know and love <laughs> uh okay we are getting closer actually we are actually now looking at this bar to sell after this, we're looking all the way down here. So if we can hold up here and get a small bounce, we'll be exiting soon. Let's see if we can, or are we going to roll over again? Thirteen seconds left in this candle. This is going to be a long trade. I'm going to put all this in the YouTube video, though. I think you guys like watching my whole trades. I mean, the thing about watching my whole trades is during the trades, I talk. I mean, I've been talking through my thought process of the trade, my thought process of the algorithm this whole time, right? So, like, I think it's still useful. Um, PBR Loudy! Now you're going to be in the YouTube video. Thanks for following, my friend. Okay, we are now looking at the high of this bar. So, we're close. We're close. Not there yet, though. We, this could still roll right over. This could still start rolling over. Crush us for another $100. Could. Gold, silver skyrocketing? I'm sure it is. It's, uh, well... It doesn't always inverse the markets, but it's supposed to be the safe haven against equities, right? So when equities are doing this dump, gold going up is not super surprising. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we're not getting out on this candle. Are we going to roll back over here? We might just roll back over here. That would be quite unfortunate after getting so close to exiting, but it is what it is once again. Uh, we are now looking all the way down here. So we're actually very close to this being the exit candle. Let's pull this over. I think it's easier to see from this screen. If we get over that green line, that green line is the high of eight bars ago, which is this bar. If we get over that, this becomes the sell candle. Sorry, I don't have this turned to today. Let's turn it to, uh, oops. Let's turn it to today so we can see the... Out goes p Now this is the 30-day p 
which is once again why <laughs> it's a pretty good example it's why i'm not worried about this right because you guys just saw the 30-day pnl is up four and a 4.4k or something like that it's why i'm not worried about this <laughs> still not a, still not a sell candle still not a sell candle oh thank you weeble for my ipo updates i appreciate that Bar closes in three seconds. It's close, but it's not gonna sell this bar. Hold, hold the line. Watch it, it's about to roll back over on us, watch. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I need to go back to my other monitor so that I can get my high day scanner working for you guys on stream. I see NRSN hitting high a day. It's a low flow with heavy volume. NRSN. Nice. Are you trading NRSN? Any NRSN traders? Uh, Spy still chopping. Still, still not a sell candle. 15 seconds left in this bar. Just need, all we need is one small push up and we're out. Nope. Looks like we might get dumped on again. It's going to be unfortunate. If we lose like another $100 in this trade, it's going to be unfortunate how close it got and didn't get us out. But whatever. Once again, prove the strategy, trade the strategy. Oh. $170 down. Woo. <laughs> Supposed to act excited, right? <laughs> what percentage of the trades triggered by the algo would you say that you take? I don't know. Guess like thirty percent, because I I don't sit here all day, so I don't I don't sit here and take all of them, trade them all day. The transparency alone is worth its weight in gold, my friend. Yeah, I mean you can watch me lose, but once again, I mean, do I actually have it open? I don't know if I do. I do. I mean, what's my what's my? I show you guys my. Back testing is one thing too. And you're like, okay, trade back test it all you want, but you're losing money, so it doesn't work, right? Here's my PL curve since since I started using this. This is the PL curve. There's nothing nothing to like nothing to be worried about. It really isn't. Quick 90 on NR and SRN. Nice. NRSN is pushing really hard. We talked about it. It's it's, it's really ripping over these last three minutes, though. Ugh. I try to, I do try to teach you guys and I try to use trades like this as, as the opportunity to teach you guys to not worry about w one trade. Everybody wants to be so like, oh my God, Trey lost money. Look at your algorithm and lost money or, or lost money today. It lost money. That was a bad trade. Like it's not, it's not, that's not trading, right? <laughs> I'm not here to get rich in one trade. That's not why I'm here. It's not why any of us are here. I don't think maybe somebody is looking for that one trade home run, but most of us, it's not why we're here. <laughs> Do you think that affects the outback testing results? Nope. Nope. That's not how stats work. I keep getting asked that question too. And I guess I get it. I guess I get it. But this is not how statistics work, right? I have proven that the each trade has an... It's like five something... Each trade has an expected value of five dollars and, and like eighty cents or something like that. And what that's doing, that's taking every win, every loss, putting them together and averaging it all out. Um, so that means every single trade you take has positive expected value. It doesn't matter that you don't take every one. You're still taking positive expected value trades, right? You don't have to take all of them to make money. The more you take, the more money you make, right? Down 200, by the way. This will be the single biggest loss. Um, but the more the more trades you take, the more money you will make because they're all positive expected value. It doesn't matter that sometimes you catch a $200 loser, right? <laughs> that's, that's just how that's how statistics work, right? If you take if you take a million trades with this, you'll be you'll be around five minutes. There will obviously be fluctuation. The more trades you take, the smaller that fluctuation gets. If you take an infinite number of trades, you will be up 5.8 infinite dollars. Because the stats would obviously over infinite would perfectly even out. 
But if you take 10 trades, you might lose. You might be down six, $700 because you're take, you've taken such a small sample, right? But that's why you take, take the trades you can. Every trade you take still positive expected value. Uh, NRSN pullback and testing highs, low float traders, MULN as well, MULN as well pulled back. All out for 300 bucks, logic, my man, good shit, nice trade. And we're just been, I mean, this is, this is now going to be a really long trade. So I will, I will end the video and I'll say this in the intro too, that this is a really long trade. Uh, I will chapter it so people that don't want to sit here for the whole thing can find the end of the trade. Find the beginning and the end of the trade. How long have you been in this? We got in at 9.45. It's 10.09. This will be the longest trade we've held in this strategy, and obviously it's going to be the biggest loss, too. That's how it works, though. That is how the strategy works. It can get dumped into like this, right? This is a definite downside of the strategy, but... For the, I think, 8,000th time, doesn't matter. CCJ has movement based on Russian consideration of ban on uranium exports. A uh, small bounce here, but we're, we're looking all the way up here. We're looking up here for our exit. So, we're, we're, we're getting some bounce, but it still needs more. I just want two base hits a day. Yeah. Okay, it's a nice uh, $40 bounce for us. If it does happen to come up here, I mean, we're gonna get out of this not too bad off. Well, it's still gonna be a triple digit loss, but way better than 200. Way better, than, I think we were down like 215 at the lows, at the low low, I think we were down 215. Maybe not quite that much. Maybe it's like 205, but still. Or is this just another bounce for the next rollover? Probably. <laughs> Probably, let's be honest. We're about to get dumped into again, aren't we? <laughs> Proud of you for trusting the strat. True trader discipline and why most traders fail. Um, not trusting your strategy, why most traders fail. I would say most traders fail... Not because they don't trust their strategy, but because they stray away from it. I think a lot of people have really good strategies um, that work really well, and they're actually pretty good at following them. But then they get on Twitter and they see the shitty pump stocks, and they're like, ooh, I'm going to go buy that. And then they lose all the gains that they grinded their strategy for all month. I think that's why I think that gets a lot of people in trouble. I think it gets more people in trouble than not, not trusting their strategy is straying away from their strategy. I think it's a bigger, it's a bigger issue. Gold. Yeah, I guess I probably should keep gold up. This is crazy. Is it crazy? <laughs> gold traders are so bored, man. <laughs> gold traders see a 0.64% gain. Like, holy shit. <laughs> gold gold traders are so easy to excitement oh my god <laughs> we're up we're up 0.65 percent let's go <laughs> i don't know maybe it was down actually no it's actually up a little from friday's close too <laughs> uh nrsn 450 I'm just kidding. Some watch, watch. Someone on YouTube is gonna be like, "Oh my God, you hate other people's trading. You because you're hating on gold." It's okay, man. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. YouTube, YouTube commenters. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Greed slash want more out of instead of watching. There's God. Sorry, YouTube's not gonna be able to hear that. But the news guy just yelled in my ears. Scared the hell out of me. Talking about NRSN, yeah. NRSN, I mean, we talked... When did we start talking about this? I think I... That's why, that's why I have that high a day scanner up there for you guys. We saw this thing hitting the high a day back here. At like 270, 280. It's now up to 470. 
Join the stream, YouTube. You get a free high day scanner where you can get early alerted to stuff like this. NRSM still going? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it's still going. It's up 190%. It's up 190%. As I sit here down $190 in spy, but... <laughs> We did get dumped back into again, of course, like I said. Spy, I mean, Spy is very weak right now. It's not surprising that we keep seeing dumps. I would like to get out of this trade. I would like I would like just a small breakup bar to get us out of this trade. We are still looking up here right now. Still looking up here, but that's about to come way down here. In two minutes, it comes way down here, so... Hopefully we can just hold here for a couple minutes and just get out of this trade. <laughs> Hopefully we can just hold here for a couple minutes, get a chance to get out of this trade. I will keep trading. I will keep trading the strat, by the way. With 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 the mechanical edge like this, I don't feel like I need to. Oh my gosh! I'm at, well, first off, I'm not at max loss. My max loss would be two hundred and sixty dollars right now. Consider my max loss to be 1% of my accounts currently. It would be 260. So we're not at max loss. And, and secondly, with this strategy, I don't feel emotional at all, right? And the strategy doesn't stop trading. The strategy has no max loss coded in. So why should I stop trading? I will, I will keep trading this today. Okay. Um... Next minute bar, we'll see what happens. Next minute bar is the one that will get out of the low down there. Thirty seconds left in this bar. Okay. Uh, of course, we're getting dumped into right before the next bar opens. Okay, this bar hopefully is the one that's going to get us out. Because this bar only needs to break this green line. That's it. Ooh. Ooh, did we break it? I think we did break that. I think we did break that. I think this is the exit bar. I think this is the exit bar. I think wherever this bar closes, we're getting out. I think, I think it broke the high of this bar. Which is what the strat is looking at. We can look. High of this bar is 443.36. High of this bar is 443.37. It's broken it by one cent. Okay, now it's pushing a little bit more. Okay, wherever this bar closes, we are out. Bar closing in 30 seconds. Ooh, okay. A little extra. A little something extra. 20 seconds. Okay, okay, wait for the little wait for the little pump on the end. Wait for the little pump on the end before you get out, huh? I'm out here. Bar closes in two seconds. Yep, strat is out. Strat lost 171. I lost 178. Once again, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I don't want to pretend that I'm happy about I'm not happy about it. But I'm not stressed either. Once again, oh my god, Trey, look at how bad your strategy is. Just, just just, to curb some of that and to try to teach you guys why it doesn't matter. One trade doesn't matter. Once again, this is our $4,300 now is our 30-day gain. And this is what I care about. If this starts going red, that's when I need to be concerned and go, oh shit, maybe I need a new strategy. Not, not when it takes one red trade, right? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we are short here. Uh, I just shorted the market. We just won our Wordle and now I'm short the market. Uh, okay, we are shorting this pop. This bar actually just barely closed below the SMA. That's why I got short. If this bar would have closed over that SMA, it wouldn't have been a short. But since it closed below it, Algo got short. I get short. Let's see what happens now. Let's see what happens this time. Get the high day scanner active for you guys. Am I recording? I am. <clears throat> Don't short here, in my opinion. Do do what proven strategy does, in my opinion. <laughs> do 
do do as proven strategy does take all your other emotions out of it right <laughs> maybe it is about the rip maybe it is but is the strategy short yep am i short yep am i doing what i'm supposed to be doing yep <clears throat> that's it if i'm listen i say this all the time too if i'm matching if i'm matching my algorithms intraday p l on the trades that i take then i'm doing all i can do that's that's my goal is to match the strategies p l strategy is actually down 225 right now i'm down 197 i'm actually beating it a little bit so i'm good But five minute play the bounce maybe? Nope, there's no buts. There's no, there's no, this is, what did, I, what did I talk about earlier? People have these strategies, but then they start second guessing it and taking other trades straying away from their strategy, right? There is no but, there's no but. <laughs> strategy, you, you, either, you either make a strategy that you trust and trade it or you're gambling, right? That's it, that's, that's, I know that makes me sound, I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but I'm also like, I'm here to help you guys make money, right? <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to help you guys make money. I'm not trying to like, I don't want to say I'm not trying to be nice, but. <laughs> <clears throat> Kevin has good days and Kevin has bad days. Just so happened Kevin is more good than bad. So ride the Kevin train. <laughs> yeah. Looks to be setting up to be, I mean, who knows? It's still early and I will trade this to, con I will continue to trade this today, but uh, we, are, we are currently setting up to have our largest red day so far since so we started trading it. <sighs> Shorting point was right here, but for your strategy, good. You got a better entrance than mine did. I'm, I'm, I'm also, for the love of God, I'm not saying you have to trade like me. I'm actually telling you almost the exact opposite. Please don't just copy what I have. I gave you guys the code, yes, but I want you to just... I want you guys to optimize it yourself. Right? Uh, for, the, for the... I just want you guys to understand this idea. This idea of how code can so easily help you make create a mechanical edge. And then use that idea to create your own mechanical edge statistically proven and, and trade it right squeezed into again another loser let's go what a day what a day it's another just straight down move straight up move it's what this is the kind of day the algorithm doesn't like it's gonna happen sometimes i'm actually not 100 percent sure where we're looking to cover because my Study lines are so jacked up. What's my strategy say? I think it's... It is eight bars back. Covering the low of eight bars back. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're currently currently looking at this candle. Next candle will be here. We're still, we're still looking at lows to cover this thing. <laughs> Who knows? We could still be quite profitable here. Or we could keep getting squeezed into it. Tried to start rolling over there a little bit. Tried to candle under candle start. High day scanner back active. Anybody from YouTube trade uh, NRSN today? Comment down below if you made bank on this because it ripped. You guys got to see it rip in that last trade. We started talking about it here in the 270s. Wow, 370s I think it was. And it ripped over seven. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. Coming down for us a little bit. We're down, still down $17 in this trade. <sighs> squeaky chair, squeaky chair. No panic covering the highs. Although this could still get worse. It could, this could easily be a, a, a higher low and roll higher. It could. This could be a higher low. A little reprieve pullback after this big of a run. I could. <laughs> you guys are going to be sick of me, but what do we do? 
we trade the proven strategy. That's it. That's all we do. That's it. <laughs> I feel like I've repeated myself so much in this video, but I think it needs to be taught. It needs to be learned, especially on days like today, because people have such a propensity to go, oh my God, you lost a bunch of money today. Must be bad strategy. Lose money equals bad strategy. Right. People have such a propensity to do that. Uh, we're just about back to break even in the trade. Just about back. Still, we're still looking down here though. We're still not close to covering. Still looking down here. Can you prove it? I'm not falling that. I'm not falling for that again, Benji. I think you were the one that got me with that last time too. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he just wants me to bring up my chart again. <laughs> I said a couple of days ago. I said I'm not going to bring up my chart again because I brought up my PL chart like a hundred times on the stream. I was like, okay, I'm not going to do it anymore. And then he 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 made me bring it up. He got me. He ligmaned me into bringing it up again. <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't prove it. <laughs> hmm. uh, currently looking at the low of this bar. So we're starting to come up. Now eight bars ago, it's going to start coming up here, right? So our, our profit take is going to, or not maybe not profit, but our take is going to start coming up and up now with each new bar. Still could end up making money in this trade. We've been in worse situations and made money using this using this system. Or we could get huge squeezed into. Hey, this could still squeeze on us too. Anything could happen. We're not we're not in the uh, we're not in the art of predicting the future. We're in the art of trading statistics. It's another very important thing to realize. Just maybe I think it, I don't I don't know I, I think I feel like I need a better I need better syntax to explain that because it's like Trey aren't you kind of trying to predict the future I mean kind of but like we're not doing it through guesses right we're doing it through statistics it's not magic there's no magic behind trading it's all statistics numbers science data there's no magic there's no magic everyone wants to think there's magic that they can they can buy a stock and have it run up 800% for them. Like, <laughs> Here we go. Here's a squeeze. Your blue line is like support resistance. Blue line is the 204 SMA. It's just a it's just an SMA. It's just a moving average. Um, okay. See how bad that we get squeezed into here, or if Spy if Spy wants to double top and come back over for us. Hey, we're just gonna get squeezed into ugly here. <sighs> squeezed into ugly here. I guess it's a shame this candle didn't close like one cent higher. Literally, if this candle closed like one cent higher, we would not be in this trade. Ain't that a bitch? That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, isn't it? Literally, if this candle closes over the SMA here, which it was right at. It was right at it. We don't take this short. <laughs> and we actually... One, two, three, four, five. No, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have quite taken this long either. This didn't quite go below eight bars ago. Well, I know it didn't because that's where I would have covered. Well, obviously it didn't. Here we go! Next squeeze! Woo! How much money can trading stocks lose today? 230 so far. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Not too bad. Let's see how bad it can get. Let's see how gross we can make it, chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Once again, I'm not going to sit here and pretend it's fun to be down over $200, but I'm also not going to pretend to be stressed about it. Um, coming up here, I think on the next minute bar, we're looking, that's when we look all the way up here. So this next minute bar is our, is our best chance to get out. Why didn't you sell into the pullback? Because it wasn't low enough. 
That's another thing, and I'm not coming at you specifically, but that's another thing that beginners love to do. Oh my god, Trey, look, you could have covered there. Yeah, I know. I know I could have covered at the low before it ripped. Guess what? You didn't know it was about to rip. <laughs> People love to, like, post-analyze moves, like, after the move happens. Like, well, Trey, why didn't you just cover at the low before the rip? Like, well, yeah, 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 I know that, man. <laughs> I know that after it rips, I probably could have covered there, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't, we can't, uh code algorithms that can see the future wish we could it'd be great <laughs> holy shit this is the reddest i've ever seen the algo oh this ain't this isn't that bad remember it's max draw down to 670 dollars i believe it was oh no now you're gonna actually get me to open my <laughs> you're gonna actually get me to open my thing <laughs> But it's max drawdown is over $600. I mean, this is not that bad. This is why, once again, it's not all about profits either. You need to know these things too. Over the last 30 days, the strategy had a, a maximum drawdown of $672. I am comfortable and ready to lose $672 off my account. That's why I'm trading the size I'm trading too. Once I get my account, once I keep using the strategy and grow my account further and further away from 25K, we can go larger and larger share size. And also, you know, we can only go so large with the stock that's expensive, but start to go to the leverage DTFs or start to go to options. But, but right now, like I, I understand that I can go on a $670 max drawdown. I can. $600 almost all your gains in the last one to two weeks. That's not, yeah, it is. I think I'm up less than 600 actually. But who, I mean, that's <laughs> gains from one to two. I could lose all the gains from one to two weeks. Yes. Once again, who cares? That's not, that's not like, that's not what matters, man. That's not, I, I, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I'm, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm struggling. I feel like I'm struggling to explain. 625 bucks. We're up 625 bucks since we started using the algorithm. Well, obviously today is going to eat into this, but. Today is going to be a day, but in one day, which is terrible trading. The maximum drawdown isn't in one day. Maximum drawdown is a multi-day. It's not, it's not, it doesn't mean one day it lost $670. It's max drawdown from peak p &O. It's the max, it's the max that the account came down from its peak p &O. But this is just an experiment, so I understand. This is not an experiment. What do you mean? I'm not experimenting. <laughs> I'm not experimenting with $30,000 positions. What about this is an experiment? It is proven, proven profitable edge that I am trading. It's so funny. It's so funny to me how... I don't know. Never mind. Never mind. Just like, just like the tone. The tone is always so different on red days. When all I'm doing is trading the same, I'm trading the same exact strategy that made me two hundred dollars a couple of days ago, and it was it was genius. I was the smartest person ever. Holy shit, this thing's awesome! It's the same, it's the same strategy, guys. <laughs> it's so funny to me how like the mood is like, and once again, that's what I'm trying to teach you guys how to get out of, and I'm, I'm I feel like I'm walking a fine line of trying to teach you guys how to get out of that mindset and not sounding like an asshole. Does that make sense? I'm trying to not sound like an asshole. But like, you need to get out, you guys, some of you guys need to like get out of these like mindsets. Like, <sighs> it's just a red start regain, bro. I mean, who knows? It's, it's, you're right. It's also, what's up Preston, by the way? It's also only, it's also only not even 11 o'clock yet. I'm not, I don't predict we're going to get back to green today, but it could. I've seen the strategy go from worse than two hundred sixty dollars down to back to green. I've seen I've seen days like that. <sighs> I just don't think it'll work unless you take all the trades. That is incorrect. Once again, it's like stats one hundred one. That's not how statistics work. That is just not how statistics work. Hold on, I'll pull it up again. Every trade, the average trade is four dollars and forty five cents. 
Meaning every single time you hit the buy button, you you can make $4.40 if you took, obviously, that's over an infinite time span. Obviously, you're not making that every time you do it. But if you took an infinite number of trades, or say you take say you take 10 million trades, you would you would make 40 you would make 45 just about 45 million dollars because that's such a huge that is such a huge sample size that your average would really have a chance to average out right. Every single trade I take is positive expected value. So the more trades you take, the more money you will make with this strategy. It's just how that's just how stats work. You don't have to take every trade to make money. I'm obviously not going to make I'm not oh uh, yeah. Sorry. Oh wait, am I still recording? Okay. Hey guys. Hey YouTube. I just lost my internet. <laughs> uh I'll be right back in a second. I have to turn off my stream, but I just lost internet. Oh fuck. I'll be back. I've got to cut here cuz I've got to restart Streamlabs. Actually, do I? I might not have to restart Streamlabs. Fuck. I think I'm still recording. This might still be in YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's reconnecting. My router restarts. My router overheats and it restarts. It does this. I'm using mobile internet. So the router the router reheats. Or when the router overheats, it restarts. Okay. Weeble says good connection now. My TOS is still not reconnected. I don't remember what I was saying. I was in the middle of ranting about something too. I remember what I was saying. Something about expected value and how, oh, 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 that I'm not going to make, yeah, I'm not going to make, I'm not going to make this much money because I don't take every trade, but I'll still, my, my p &L chart will look similar to this. It'll just be smaller numbers on the left side, right? Can we reconnect TOS? I have internet. It's been back on for like 30 seconds. There you go. There you go. Oh, and we're getting squeezed into again. Great. <laughs> And we're getting squeezed into more. Great. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't miss the exit or anything. That's good. Did the stream stop? Yeah, sorry. I, I, I lost internet. I'm back now. If you can't hear me, you might have to refresh your stream. Apologies. My router restarted. I didn't have it up on my... I didn't have it up on the cooling bar it's supposed to be on, so it overheated. That's my fault. I am getting... Ooh, actually, it's in three days. I'm getting fiber internet. We're getting fiber in three days. That's hype. Ooh, squeeze me. Let's go. Let's have a $300 red day. Close. We're close to $300 red day. <sighs> nice. We've only taken two trades too. That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. Two trades. Just caught in straight down. Caught in straight up, unfortunately. Um... The high day scanner working again. By the way, uh, NRSN is holding its gains. I like when stocks make big moves like this and hold their gains like this. I don't have that statistically proven, but I do. I I I, I like how this looks for like more continuation potentially. Who followed Cresmo? What up, G? Getting wrecked here too. Hell yeah. $300 red day. $300 red day. Let's go. Let's go. This bar, this bar closing two cents higher would have saved me $120. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Isn't that a bitch? This bar closes two cents higher. I save $120. Mother. <laughs> Did you go short because you're under the 350 SMA? Under the 204 SMA. Yeah. I'm using the 204 SMA now. But yes. We were getting a spike under the 204 SMA. I mean, I didn't do anything, right? I went short because my strategy went short, right? Strategy went short. I went short. We're just getting squeezed again. We're getting squeezed again. <sighs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun YouTube video to post. I've lost a lot of money and I feel like I've criticized the way people trade. I'm sure YouTube's going to love this video. <laughs> the YouTube comments are going to be just peach on this one. <laughs> I'm trying not to criticize how people trade. I'm really, am. You know, I'm just 
once again, my job here is to help you make money. If that makes you not like me because you don't like something I said, then I what the fuck ever. If I'm helping somebody make money because of it, then that's what I care about. <laughs> fuck the haters. Trace on my favorite channel. I don't really have a lot of haters here on Twitch. Twitch is nice. I mean, I like Twitch. People don't really people don't really hate on you. People don't really hate on you on Twitch. Once again, it because I'm right here, and when I read their shit, I'm going to respond to it. It's way less I can hide behind a keyboard here on Twitch, right? You say it, the streamer says it, and they can immediately respond vocally. Trolls don't like that very much. Trolls just want to type. <laughs> Get in little typey arguments. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Fucking Kevin. Damn it, Kevin. YouTube, if you guys are confused about Kevin, it's what we've uh, decided to name the algorithm here on uh, Twitch. <laughs> Tough guy gamers in chat. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> it's always, it's always the, uh... I don't know, I don't even know what I was about to say. Loudest are always the weakest, right? That's true in real life. I would say even more so on the internet. <laughs> yes, Kevin. <laughs> wow. Well, this is going to be a weird YouTube video too, because it's going to be two really long trades. It's going to be like a weird, I don't know. I don't know how like I want to form. I guess I'll still put the whole trades in. We've talked about some good things during the trades. I'll put, still put the whole trades in. I'll have to, I'll just have to chapter them so people can skip ahead. It's gonna be a weird. It's gonna be a weird YouTube video. It's also eleven o'clock. I want to get off. <laughs> I want to go to the gym. Oh gosh, what a day! Ah, what a day! Straight up, straight down, straight up. This is just a weird day for Spy. How often does Spy move like this? Not very often. That's why the strategy is losing, right? Strategy is optimized to capitalize on normal spy movements. This is this is pretty wild spy movement today. Pretty wild spy movement today. We are down three hundred and fifteen dollars. Largest red day you guys have seen. Largest you guys have seen me down. Even here on. I think even on Twitch. I think since I started streaming on Twitch, this might be the largest you guys have seen me down. It's exciting. It's exciting. <clears throat> um. Yeah. When this breaks down, when this breaks down and we do get to get out, um, since we're now obviously well above the SMA, the strategy is going to want to immediately long. So we'll do that too. We'll do that too. Well, well, we'll take the immediate long. And that'll be during the next huge dump. We'll go down $500, but... <laughs> oh, we'll see, we'll see that. Should be a hot YouTube video. Oh, what's my what's my fun semi-clickbait YouTube video, chat? Largest red day of all time. I think I've, I think I've literally already used that title. <laughs> at least, at least I get a title out of it. Gotta have some silver lining, right? What's the title today, chat? Two huge losers. I lost so much money. Does the algo even work? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Day trading gone wrong. <laughs> Day trading gone wrong. That's a good one. That's a classic. It's a classic kind of clickbaity title. Is it time to move on from this algo? That's a good one. You guys are good. I'm telling you guys, you guys are good at YouTube titles. Is it time to move on? <laughs> on the 16th day of using it? <laughs> oh my God. I blow out my account because of the algo? I don't want to do that. I don't want to make it full clickbait. I don't want to go like, oh, I blew my account. That would just be literal clickbait. It's gotta be, it's gotta be kind of clickbaity. It's gotta be true, but dramatized. 
that's that's good clickbait, right? You don't want to just like a literal clickbait, like oh I blew my account. I'm, I'm the account's down a little over one percent. <laughs> a little over one percent, the account is down. <laughs> I'm quitting. <laughs> that would also be a lie. <laughs> Can you change it to use the VWAP instead of the 200 MA? Yeah. I tried that. It didn't work very well. Well, very well. It didn't work as well. Gambling all of my money away. It's good. It's good. That would go against everything I said in this video, though, that I don't feel like I'm gambling. <laughs> that would that would go against everything that I like said in the video. <laughs> It's also still only 11 o'clock. Who fucking knows? This video will come out, obviously, for in five hours. This video comes out. Um, and I will I will take trades off stream. I don't I don't think we're gonna get back to green today, but crazier things have happened. Crazier things have happened. <laughs> Russia hacked my algo and then I lost. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna. We're not going to pull on the Russian hard strings in our YouTube title. No, thank you. <laughs> that's not that's not the direction I want to go. <laughs> We're not going to pull on those hard strings for, for YouTube views. I know a lot of people that have done that. I've seen a lot of videos that have done that. But I'm not going to be that guy. Um, okay, we are actually getting close to covering here. It's looking at the low of this candle. 80 Joy Yote. Wait, what the hell? Aji Yote. Thank you for the follow. Uh, low of this candle and we are covering. It didn't break it yet, though. We're not covering this candle yet. Oh, and here comes the next squeeze. <laughs> Whoa, it's not going to break it by one penny, and we're going to get squeezed into it again. <laughs> uh, this candle closed in 25 seconds. Uh, uh. Still not quite. Uh, it still hasn't quite. I misdrew this line a little bit, sorry. I did misdraw this line just slightly. I know it looked like it did. It didn't. It still didn't break the low. Just missed it. But now the next candle here in four seconds, we are jumping up to that low. So we're up a little bit higher now and we are now below it. Okay. So we are covering wherever this candle closes. Now we're below both. Nice. We're covering wherever this candle closes. It's a nice little $50 tip on the end here, by the way. Uh, I'm covering half here. I'm covering half here. We're halfway, well, we're 20 seconds to this bar and it's a big rip. And I know we're covering this bar, so covering half here. Trust the algo. Always get that little win on the end, no matter what. No matter what, get that little win on the end, right? I mean, we were down 330 up here, I think. Maybe it was like 340, no, no, 320. Now we're only down 270. I say only, but this is like an extra, it's like a $50 throw in on the end here. It's like a $50, $50 little throw in win here on the end of the trade. I'm out here. Candle's about to close. Nice. Okay. It was not nice. It's still a big loss. But I still uh, throw in victory on the end there. Throw in victory on the end there. $271 down on the day. Yep. We are long here. Long 75 shares of spy at 444.45. Oh man, one cent lower, it'd have been four, 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 four. The four for four deal. I got four, four for fours. <laughs> Here we go. Straight from being, straight from getting a squeeze short to now being long on the dip. Always trust the strat. Yep. Why make it if you're not going to trust it? It can happen. I saw worst days of algo recover. Yep. Yep. I have seen I have seen the algo come back from worse than three hundred dollars down. I think I saw a day where it was down like five fifty in the morning and still made like almost a hundred bucks. It was a wild day. I'm not saying to expect that today, but I have seen the algorithm do it. <laughs> we don't need to, you know, don't start playing the sad Titanic music yet. Don't start playing the sad Titanic music yet, chat. Uh, candles can't quite figure out what they want to do. We're pretty much chilling at break even since we entered this trade. Looking up to highs for sell. I 
Yeah, this this strategy can have very volatile days. We haven't really had one of those two volatile days yet. This is this is one, but I have seen the strategy have very very multi hundred dollar swings in the day. candle was very undecisive this candle after we longed was very undecisive well, now it's starting to break down now it's starting to break down a little bit but not a lot of uh i don't know not a lot of pressure either direction it's like the selling pressure slowed down which could be good it's like it's like run 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 and then a couple of undecisive candles here potentially selling pressure selling down let's see once again don't care just do what the strategy does once again, I say this all the time too. I know I repeat myself a lot, but the beauty of this, the beauty of mechanical edges, I don't have to do that kind of analysis. Oh, look, the selling pressure is slowing down. And, and I know that may work for you. I'm, I'm glad it does. But I like not having to be able to think about that stuff. I like my code. I like just buying what I'm supposed to, selling what I'm supposed to. I, I said it this morning market open is the easiest part of my day this is when i do the least work all day it's when the markets are open now i just get to trade markets are closed that's when i put in the work start studying you know adopting strategies flex like fixing strategies looking at different variables looking at different numbers looking at code like market open i just trade it's easy this is the easy part <laughs> All right, pushing up nicely here. We are still looking all the way up to highs though. Uh, we are currently looking at this bar. Let's get rid of this. So we are not selling here yet, but nice immediate push. Sorry, my internet cut out. I mean, that was my fault. I should have, I didn't have my, I didn't have my router up on the bar that keeps it cool. You will be able to see all that on YouTube, by the way. My, the Streamlabs never stopped recording. <laughs> so in that trade, you get to see my reaction when my internet goes out. <laughs> all right, come on. We are now looking at this bar. Obviously, we're looking right around here for the next two minutes. Let's get that big push up there. Let's get a little a little reprieve back on the day, shall we? Let's get a little reprieve back on the day, shall we? Or is this just the lower high before the dump? <laughs> is this just the lower high before the rollover? Who knows? Pixie, 1994. Thank you for the follow. 1993 was the goaded year to be born. I'm sorry, but 94 is cool. You guys are cool. 93 is a little bit better. But... <laughs> You guys, uh, fellow early 90s babies, you guys starting to get sad. Like, when you have to choose your date now, you got to scroll. You got to scroll a little bit further now. We're almost like two pages down now on some sites. It's like, oh my god. Old. <laughs> Alright. This minute bar is pretty much looking at the same area. High of this bar. Pretty much the same. A little bit higher. You graduated in 94? Nice. Nice. That makes you 58? No, 48. I can't do math. <laughs> ish, 48-ish. <sighs> 45 to 46. Close, close enough. Well, the first guess wasn't close enough, but second one was better. <laughs> when I actually used my brain a little bit. All right, rolling back over into us a little bit. Is this is this going to be the lower high before the dump? It kind of feels like it, honestly, but mechanical edge, trade it. Trade it like you're supposed to. You graduated in 2010 from high school? I graduated high school in 2011. Right behind you there, Raptor. College 2015. You know you're old when you say two different ages? Why do you say two different ages? <laughs> Can you not remember how old you actually are? 
That's how you know you're getting old. You're like, yeah, I'm somewhere in there. 42, 43. I don't know. I'm somewhere in there. <laughs> okay. We're looking at the high of this bar currently. After this, after this candle, the sell drops way down here. So there's a good chance we're selling the next bar as it opens in 15 seconds. As long as it opens above this, we're selling wherever it closes. As long as it opens above this, which it does. Okay. We are selling the close of this bar no matter where it is. This is the sell trigger candle. Let's see if we can get ourselves a little push. Huh? Let's get a little let's get a little higher high here. Little little higher low, higher high push. Let's be selling up above 445, shall we? No? Okay. Double top. We're gonna double top and roll. And that, that sounds about right, Spy. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> uh halfway through the candle. Hmm. So this is well. There's still 20 seconds if anything can happen. Looks like it's going to be a small win, though. Looks like it's going to be a small one. We have two big losers and one really small win. Hell, who knows? This could still dump on us in the next 10 seconds. <laughs> We're out here. Okay. I'll take the win. Hey, it feels good. You know what? I know we made 20 bucks in that trade and we lost a couple hundred in the first two, but... It feels good to get a win, damn it. It feels good. Okay, I am long here at 444.77 on SPY. We are long at the breakdown candle. Buy the weakness, buy the panic. Buy dip, sell rips, buy panic, sell, sell euphoria. Or keep getting dumped into, but we're going to try to sell euphoria. <laughs> we're going to try. <laughs> How'd you get the number 209 for longs and below 204 for shorts? Uh, no, wait, sorry. The current the current strategy doesn't take uh, doesn't take the MAs into account for uh, longs. I'll just show you. This is the whole code, by the way. The current long strat. Oh wait, yes, it does. I thought I got rid of that. I think I think at one point I did get rid of that. Am I not trading the right? I'm gonna I'm gonna actually be a little pissed at myself if I'm not trading the right strategy today. Oh, I'm oh. Wait a second! 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 No SMA ad selected. This is probably why I was so confused earlier, too. Fuck. <laughs> well, that's on me. I was I was trading I was trading the wrong my wrong code today. It's not it's not it's not like way better. The the code I'm supposed to, the code that's more optimized is still down 170. So it's not like, oh my god, Trey, that's why you lost money today. No, I lost money either way. Um, but I was trading the wrong code. Shit. You know what happened is, is I, so I need to, let, let me do this now, actually. Let's save this grid. I had this grid saved with that other strategy and I, I was messing with this grid over the weekend and I came back and pulled up my save grid and it pulled up the, the past strategy. That's just, I mean, obviously that's just completely on me. That's just completely on me. Can you post the correct code? Yeah, so this is the code which we want to be trading. This one, doesn't take uh, for the long side it doesn't care about ma's at all it, it only it just won't short strength realistically but it will buy it will buy weakness it's actually what makes it a little bit better i'm sorry about that i mean i i don't know am i sorry i mean it's just a mistake it's a mistake you know we could have saved 60 dollars today the strategy is still red it's not like i would have been you know how pissed i would have been if i clicked on this and it was like up 100 bucks today i'd be like you mother i would have like slap myself but it is it is outperforming the other number the other numbers by 60 bucks so that's just on me it's a 60 dollars mistake that i made this morning not loading in the right code uh there's a lesson lesson for everybody now hopefully you all don't ever make that mistake <laughs> 
please post the correct code. I just showed it on screen. I guess I can copy and put it in chat if you want me to. Oh, I can't actually. It's too long. Uh, it's in the Discord. It's in the Discord. That's almost the whole code. You're just your last order block is is cut off because it's too long. The, too many characters for Discord or for Twitch. Anyway, we are getting a uh, we are getting a bounce. We are getting a small bounce here, but not looking to sell yet. Let's trade it from this screen, actually. Let's trade it from this screen so you guys can see. Obviously, any candle that breaks that green line is a sell candle. Getting a decent little immediate bounce here, though. We're up 26 bucks in this trade. What needs to be the below the 204? The open of the candle or the close? Close. It needs to close below the 204. The code's right there. I just posted it. Most of it. That last order block gets cut off a little bit. I don't even think you need that part, though. Just just take that D off. The, yeah, I don't even know what that is, actually. That part that gets cut off. Probably just take it off and be fine. Oh, my God. Here we go. Next fucking rollover for Spy. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It's one of those days, man. Just nothing, nothing will work today. It's one of those days, you guys You guys ever feel like when you get into a trade and you're like, okay, this is going to lose. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you just know. Man. We're still, still system trading, still doing what we're supposed to do. It's just like you get in and it's like, all right, this, we know, we know this is going to roll over. No, this bounce isn't going to hold. <laughs> uh, which candle? The current candle. The current candle needs to close under 204. The bar's back is what is what you look at to exit. The bar's back, well, I was going to say nothing to do with entry. That would have been a dumb thing to say. But the bar's back is what you look at for, you know, your entry exit. The the SMA is, the SMA technical indicator is only for current bar setup. Current bar close above or below that SMA. All right, don't panic sell the dip. Come on, let's get some, let's get the bounce here. That would explain the lines mishap. Yeah, that's, at least that helps me understand why I was so damn confused earlier. I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on with my own code. I was like, I coded this. I should know what's happening. <laughs> but I wasn't, I wasn't running the correct code. That's why. <laughs> should probably go through and like delete my other code, but I really don't want to because, I mean, look, these are all these are all different variations of the strategy all well besides this buy test one all of these are variations that i'm testing things in no cheat code this is this is the cheat code is when you uh estimate exits that's when i got rid of that this is only on a video this is five minutes this is without the moving averages this is testing stop losses you know this is your statistics <coughs> I have a lot of iterations of this code, and I was just running one of the wrong ones this morning. <laughs> Cost a $60 mistake. $60 mistake. Isn't the end of the world. At least it wasn't a $200 mistake. At least if this, if this strategy was like green, I would have been a little upset. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not quite getting the big rip that we wanted, but... If the next bar can hold, we'll be getting out on the bar afterwards. Or maybe this bar does give us the push up here. Oh, sorry, you guys aren't... I turned off display capture. If this if this bar holds, the next bar will be exit bar. And maybe maybe this bar will push, but... Huh? Huh? Question mark? Huh? 30 seconds left in this bar. It could. It could. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Can you post correct code to Discord? Sure. Join the Discord. Go to Algo Nerds. There's the code. Uh oh, very close to exiting this candle. Uh, eight seconds left in the candle. If it breaks this high, which it hasn't quite yet, broken over the green line, it is a sell candle. Okay, this is now the sell candle. But it just opened. Oh, anything can happen. Let's see. This is this is the time when things like this happen. This is when you can get your biggest wins, right? 
because this is when the algorithm ends up holding on to winners the most, right? Okay, I'm selling half here. Selling half into this push. Well, a little bit less than half. I'm still in 40 shares. Nice. This is a this is a nice win. I think it's a $50, $60 win here. That's nice. Needed that today. Makes today better for sure. Bar still has 20 seconds in it. Wow, and it's still pushing. Okay. Okay. If you had a full-time job where you couldn't day trade, would you only be a swing trader? Yeah, of course. I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> if I couldn't day trade, of course I would only be a swing trader. Swing trader slash long-term investor. There you go. Nice win. Really, really nice trade there. Once again, everyone was panicking. Oh my God, it's breaking down. We're long. Oh my God, it's breaking down again. Now nah, we're straight. Oh, now you guys, now everybody wants to buy. Okay, we'll sell into you then. Now everybody's getting euphoric and wanting to buy SPY. Okay, you guys got it. We want to be buying where they're not, selling where they are. No one's buying, we are. Everyone's buying, we're selling. That's what we want to be doing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Alrighty, so as you saw there, uh, just not a good morning for the algorithm. Um, but really, just really, really wild day for SPY. There's a really a lot of unnatural moves for the markets. And when you're creating a mechanical back-tested algorithm that finds profit over the last 30 days of the market or of any equity, when it has unusual days like this, it, things like this can tend to happen, right? I mean, SPY was straight up, straight down, straight up. j -Pal started talking, straight down. Okay, we're back, never mind. Like, it was just a wild day. I follow a, a few uh, other SPY traders and a few other large cap traders in general. Um, I think for the most part, it was just it's just a struggle today just with the way the markets are moving. Now, I did take a lot of trades off camera. I ended that live session down, I think roughly 207. Let's see what I could get back to. Minus 218, <laughs> I lost another $10 with all the trades I took. But let's look, so obviously here's all the trades. It, it, it looks crazier than it really is when I zoom out like this. It's really not this crazy. Um, but let's look, at the, let's look at the algorithms PL, because this is pretty much my PL. After, after I start, so this is right where I stopped the live recorded trades. We were actually grinding our way back really nicely. We got to a point where we were only down like $110. I was like, okay, this is good. It's like, we're doing okay. And then we got in this trade right here. We got in this trade right here at 1230. And that's right when Jay Powell opened his mouth. Uh, Jerome Powell, the SEC chair, opened his mouth. And he said something about the... Fed is going to step in to help with inflation rates. Markets didn't like that. I bought long at 1229. He said that at 1230. There goes the PL right back down. Actually, at this point, I was down over $400. I was I was closed position. I was down over $400 at one point today. And then we ended up grinding it back up okay. And then we actually stopped. Thankfully, I guess we stopped trading kind of here because the algorithm has since turned back down again. As you can see, our last trades were kind of right here in this time zone. So um, it's just a really, really crazy day. Once again, we were down over 300. We got it back to only being down like 110. Like, okay, we're grinding. We're going back green. Screw it. Let's keep trading. We're going back green today. Uh, the Fed chair opened his mouth. Whew, all that's back gone again because my drops off like a rock. So just a wild, wild, wild day. Minus 218, obviously the largest red day since we've started trading this, but it, we've only been trading it. I believe this is our 16th day. It's not that crazy. Minus 218, I talked about in that video. Over the last 30 days, just over the last 30, the max drawdown is $670 with this strategy. Um, and that doesn't mean one day. That could be over multiple days, but we expect this, right? We know this can happen. There's no magic. This isn't some kind of magic, holy crap strategy that now you're never going to lose. Here's your Ferrari. Here's your millions of dollars. That's not what this is. It's still trading. It's still statistics. You're still going to lose. It's just one of those days. Uh, let's go ahead and pull over the P&L of the strategy trade since we started using it. Obviously, today is the largest day either direction. Our biggest green day, 194. The other day, 218. Unfortunately, our biggest day now in either direction is red, which... You don't love, but can happen. Um, and obviously a little, a little, well, a little, a, a decent size tick down here on the PL curve. But look at the PL curve. 
it still looks okay, right? I mean, you don't want this. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be happy about it, but we're still doing okay. We're still doing better than I was before I started using a uh, uh, bank script to backtest strategies. My, my P&L curves were not looking this strong uh, before that. So it's still helping my trading, still doing okay. As you can see, the win-loss rate we actually won 61% of our trades today. It's just the, those two big losers. And then the one with j opened his mouth too. So really three big losers today. It's kind of the reason for this. Just the straight up, straight down, straight down again movement. Just really kind of messes with the algorithm. So uh, go to the detail to 66.8% win rate. Average loser 36. Average winner 21. Not too shabby. We do know. We know the system takes a little bit larger losers than winners. Uh, but that is a okay. As you can see, we are still trending in the correct direction on our equity curve so that is okay scroll through some of this stuff if you care and we'll flip back over here i know once again i know this is a really long video i did tell you guys during the intro how you could skip through the trade so if you didn't have time to watch the whole thing maybe bookmark the video this weekend you have time uh grab some popcorn find some time sit down and watch the video if you didn't get to watch it all today but either way hopefully you guys got to learn something and to those of you guys that did watch it all the way i appreciate you thank you very much first off uh but hopefully you all did learn something today so hopefully you enjoyed once again hopefully you enjoy the transparency oh my god biggest red day oh my god uh, i'm still posting it posting it here you go here's my equity curve here's all the trades i took here's everything don't care still out here still trading still working the system and we'll just see how tomorrow goes won't we uh with that being said Please hit like, hit the red subscribe button if you haven't. We're almost at 900. We might be at 900 subs, actually. We're like just shy. So thank you guys very, very much. That's awesome. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of today's video. I will catch you all in the next one.